sitting in my house. No one's been really using it. It's a mess. And given that I've been doing a lot of work from home recently, I thought it would be a really good idea to turn it into a little home office slash filming space for me. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I turn this room from this to this. Here's the current state of the room. Moved everything to the center. We have some paper on the ground. We already did patch this room and paint the ceiling. Fortunately, the first thing that I need to do is sand the walls, which I hate doing. I'm so sick of sanding. It's just like really annoying, but then we can paint. Hey, here's what the room's looking like right now. But tonight I'm going to Ikea with my mom. Crazy, because I've been to Ikea more in the past like three months than I have in my whole life <laughs> because of redoing my bedroom and then redoing this room now. At Ikea, I wanna get a desk, a lamp, I might get a mirror, and I think just like if anything catches my eye, I will get it. So at Ikea, I ended up getting this desk in white, the Mick desk. And then I kind of was just looking around and I don't know why, but I actually didn't film a haul of what I got. So I'm just going to tell you, I got the Fado ball shaped lamp, like a little globe lamp. And I also ended up getting the Hovit mirror because it was on sale and it was really pretty. I got a pink mug and a pink towel, which I didn't really show, but here's me getting the desk. Um, my mom and I were having a lot of fun just like looking around and stuff. <laughs> but I also got two shelves and a picture frame. So once I built the desk, it was time to basically assemble the room. So my mom was helping me and we started by taking the paper off of the floor and there were some paint spots on the wood because we didn't have enough paper to cover the whole floor. So we kind of just scrubbed those off and like scraped them off. And then I moved out the furniture that we wouldn't be using. And I started putting together some of the other things that I bought. I made a pretty big Amazon order. So the first thing I did was put together this light and I love the way that this lamp looked. It was just so cute. And then I put together the other light from Ikea because this room has no overhead lighting so it needs lots of lamps. And then I kind of started putting the room into place and I knew I wanted the desk to be under the window so that's where I kind of started and I just kind of started moving the other furniture pieces around. It already feels so different in here. I'm so happy. I'm about to put the rug down. This is the rug I got. I thought this would make it feel a lot more cozy in here. It's all fuzzy. And then I have a big mirror I'm gonna put on that wall.
briefly hop in and talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is LG. Now I'm so excited because they are launching this beautiful new product called the LG MyView Smart Monitor. It is such a beautiful product and I've been thoroughly enjoying it these past few weeks that I've been trying it out. If you're unfamiliar with what a smart monitor actually is, because I wasn't even fully aware to begin with, but it's kind of like a perfect mixture between a TV and a monitor. With the MyView Smart Monitor, you get the entertainment benefits that a TV provides along with the practical benefits that a monitor provides, basically allowing you to stream, watch movies, have apps on the monitor, and also do things like send emails and have video calls. But you can also use this monitor without any PC attached to it. It basically acts like a personal TV. So if you maybe don't want to have to share a TV with the whole family, you want something that's going to be versatile for maybe schoolwork, personal reasons, and work, but you also want to be able to kind of transition it into a TV for study breaks or work breaks, it's perfect for that. It's a 31 and a half inch monitor with 4K resolution, so the quality is absolutely amazing. When I'm watching TV and like watching movies on this monitor, it's so clear and it looks so good. Additionally, it has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, as well as Miracast, AirPlay 2, and it comes with HDMI cables so that you can connect your devices readily and easily. I always talk about how important it is to have a room that you love and a space that you love, and I think the MyView Smart Monitor is the perfect thing for that because it has the most beautiful aesthetic. It is so streamlined, and I literally feel like it perfectly matches my room. One of my other favorite features is the detachable webcam that you can literally just stick on or pull off. You want a video call with someone, you have a meeting, it's perfect to just throw on, and it has a little slide cover for privacy reasons. Again, thank you so much to LG for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I've honestly just spent the last probably two hours organizing this stuff. I have tons of art supplies and for the longest time they just haven't really had a good designated spot. So I'm so glad to have basically this whole thing and also these drawers and like this cart be able to go to organizing this stuff and storing it. But now I'm going to start putting some of it in these drawers. the room is looking we just put up the curtains my brother and mom helped me thankfully but they're the same sheer white curtains that I have in my room I'm just really loving the way that it's feeling like this is so cute and I've already been sitting here like all day the past couple days <laughs> Then it was time for the finishing touches, so I added a few plants into the room. I also hung up a little moonlight and started working on a collage wall because I thought that that far wall in the room looked pretty empty, so I was kind of just playing around with some prints that I already had printed out from previous rooms until I got a layout that I liked. Okay, so I just have to pull this out and I can stay, keep it in the same spot. Actually, no. Can you get that pulled out? Because now the hole There's collects. a hole there now, and the hole's bigger than the screw. And we just drill through it and we'll show no, because then you don't have a hole for your screw. Well... Just drill it in part of the shelf and push it. Did you just make that up? That's what I'm thinking. That, that doesn't work like that. No, I was going to do it with the screwdriver. Okay, Caitlin.
done. Are you ready to see the finished room? Let's go. I have been sitting in this chair pretty much all day every day since I kind of finished this room and I've been loving it in here. I will say that there are definitely still things that I want to add slash change to this room, but you know the process of like redoing a room, like it's quite a process and sometimes it takes a little bit of time before you kind of realize exactly how you might want it to be. So I think there's still finishing touches and like changes I'm probably gonna make, but we're at a pretty good place right now with this room. So I'm gonna show you. Here is what it looks like right when you walk in. So I've got this big, beautiful window. I've just been so enjoying. My bedroom faces like north, so I don't really get the sunrise or sunset at all from my window, but this room pretty much has sun like all day long, especially in the evening. So I am so excited now to have this room and actually be able to enjoy it. To the left of the door, I hung up my little Urban Outfitters moonlight in here. And then I have my little art cart that I put together. I have those books on the floor right now, but honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna put them. They're books that don't really fit in my room. This cart used to be in my room and I really love it, but the actual cart is from the container store. And I have this plant on here that I've had for quite a while. I have a cup of paintbrushes in the top and also like a little piece of pottery that I can paint in here. The second tier, I have a watercolor book, some big paintbrushes, watercolor paint, some pastels. In this bottom layer, I have just a bunch more paint and I have all of these Windsor and Newton paints in here. Moving this way, there's the closet. Nothing interesting really happening over there. On this wall, I really want to get kind of like a little futon couch. I think that would make such a big difference over here. Like I want there to be some type of seating area over here. I would love to be able to just like lay here and read, just like chill in here, spend some time watching movies in here because I can watch TV on my monitor. But I decided to make a small collage wall. The color theme in here is like pink, green, and cream yellow. So I kind of made a collage out of those colors. All of these are pictures that I found on Pinterest. Lamp was like a bit of a gamble because I ordered it online, but I'm honestly so pleased with it. I'll turn it on so you can see. Look at how cute that is. They look like little bubbles. And beneath it, I have my beautiful but slightly unruly split leaf philodendron. She needs a steak. She really needs a steak to make it be a little bit more orderly, but this plant is beautiful. And then my desk area, which I feel is really the star of the show. Put up the same gold curtain rod that is in my bedroom and the same sheer curtains. And I think they make such a difference on this wall. Here's a little overview of my desk. It is quite pink. Also, I will try to link every single thing that I show in this video in my description and in my Amazon storefront, which will also be in my description. So if you're wondering where anything is from, check there. First up, I have this little desk lamp, which was from Target. I have this pencil cup from like Marshalls with these little Stedler pigment liners. This bamboo container. I think this is from Target, but I have some little to-do list post-it notes, the remote for my monitor and the remote for my fairy lights. Here's my new laptop stand, which I've been using so much. I didn't realize how helpful this would be. And I have my laptop on top. A cute new chair, which I've really been liking. And I'm again, like really pleased with the way that it looks. This is from Amazon. Gold legs, which again, I kind of have gold accents in this room. And this pink heart pillow is also from Amazon. Then here is my beautiful new monitor. I think this monitor looks so pretty and streamlined here. And I love that it's like white and it matches my color scheme. So I have that on this acrylic stand, which I got from Amazon. This tiny little pink dish from Target. There's like a crystal, some earrings and a ring. Cause I mean, oh, what can you really fit in that tiny dish? I just, I think it's a cute touch. Then my new beautiful keyboard and mouse, which came in a set from Amazon. And then here is my Apple watch in this little stand that my boyfriend 3D printed for me. It's so cool. Cause there's like a little magnet there. So it magnetizes and then it charges. And then this fits my little AirPods. So that's perfect. Here is this really beautiful little philodendron plant. My AirPod Maxes. This stand is also so nice. It's from Amazon. Then I set my Alex nine drawers right next to it. So I kind of have this little like cove right here. And I love that because like the perfect spot to put a cute little print. I have a little clear acrylic garbage can down there. And then I will briefly show you the drawers, which I honestly spent so long organizing. Moving over here, I have, I think this is called like the Fado light from Ikea. It's so beautiful, but I definitely want to get a color changing light bulb for it. I also have my little calendar here. I just stopped filling it out though, because I pretty much only use Notion now. It is really nice to have like a paper copy of a calendar. I will quickly show you through these drawers. They are not perfect, but up top we have a ribbon. This looks very disorderly, but ribbon, scissors, and an engineering ruler that I used to use for school. This one has calculators, Swarovski crystals, a bunch of random stuff. This one has pads of paper, coloring pages, and an old laptop because I don't even know what to do with it now. Here we have glue, glitter, stickers, more stickers, and hole punches back there. Highlighters, little markers, and colored pencils. More of these Sharpie like paint marker things. 
these amazing crayons that I used to use for body painting all the time. Colored pencils, there's pastels at the bottom. My Cali Art markers that I like to use for coloring. And a lot of beads, which I use for jewelry making. Here is just a bunch of journals and notepads. My Polaroids, extra pictures that I have, tape, sticky notes, crayons, glitter, whiteboard markers, protractors, and matches. <laughs> Great. Onto this wall, I have these two shelves. They are from Ikea. This is a new plant that I just got last night. It's a little ivy. And then here's a Polaroid of my boyfriend and I. Here's a cute little print of the New Yorker and then my Fujifilm Polaroid camera, as well as a little candle. Up top, I have this geode crystal and then a picture of my boyfriend and I. This frame is from Ikea as well. I have a little replica candle, another candle here, and then a fake plant that I've had for a very long time. And then we've got my beautiful new mirror. This is the Hovet mirror from Ikea. I've honestly been wanting this mirror forever. And it was on sale when I was at Ikea, so I just decided to get it. I also put a string of fairy lights around it, which I think adds a really nice touch. And down here I have this basket, it's kind of random, but like a basket with my yoga mat in here. And then also two candles. And then this plant over here, which I really love, another candle. The last thing in this room is the rug. <laughs> the rug is from Target. It made such a big difference in this room. I literally just come and like lay on the floor because it's so cozy and it made the room feel so much better. I think that is all for this room. And I really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it helpful or maybe inspiring for your interior decorate comment this emoji if you watched all the way up until the end of this video and if you did thank you so much i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in my next video bye guys